Hello Malaysia, this is Jericho here and this is a Wait a Minute production. Today is the uh, 16th of December 2013. It's a Monday and it's 1.20 p.m. So I'm going to like uh, cook some food and this time I'm eating Indomie for uh, lunch from Ibumi. It's me goreng. So these are the MSG laden stuff. So we have the, this one is, is the uh, what should we call it? Onion oil, lovely stuff. And this one is the sweet black soy sauce. And here is the chili flakes, and also this one is the MSG, which is the core of the taste. So while I'm doing this video here, I better look at the wok there because uh, I'm boiling some spaghetti because, well, it's never enough. Uh, this um, egg noodles here. It's never enough. So I'm using spaghetti from uh, Barilla. So this box here is roughly, I think, about five bucks. It's uh, 500 grams. You can get it from Tesco. So let's get it out of the way. So besides that, uh, make sure that the spaghetti is al dente. Besides that, I'm going to eat it, uh, eat my uh, mee goreng or fried noodles with some chicken uh, cooked in or cooked with garlic and also oil and soy sauce, which is here, which was made yesterday. Before I can just add this in easily. One egg. Uh, this one is a chibai burung or what you call it. Small little uh, village, village chilies or something. So these are very, very strong. No, not actually. This is not very strong because this is not uh, kampung chili or village chilies. I think this is from Thailand. So Thailand is not that spicy at all. So like all these noodles, I want to make sure that it's al dente. I don't like it to be too, uh, too soft and stuff. If it's too soft, it's not that nice actually. So I want it to be al dente, a bit firm, firm but cooked or soft. That's the meaning of al dente. Cook but firm. She doesn't look like a lot. Fuck. I mean, uh, pardon my French. It doesn't look like a lot add more about this much. I think that this much is enough. So I'm gonna take away the almost cooked spaghetti, which is here. I think it's al dente already. Uh, have a check and see. When it comes to spaghetti, it's best to use tweezers. Yep, it's al dente. So use this one here and uh, put it in. fire again to have it boil again and put more spaghetti into the mixture here like so squeeze uh, anti-clockwise on the left or bottom and clockwise on the well, opposite side so as to make it come like this so this is the neat trick that I learned it while I was in New Zealand so nothing was wasted while I was in New Zealand itself. So uh, to stop these uh, noodles from actually becoming a bit too cooked, it's still it's still cooking. Okay, it's coming softer and softer. So running over uh, lukewarm or cold water to stop it from cooking further, making it too soft, which I do not like. 
now I'll just leave it aside like so and uh, wait for it to uh, get the second batch of of, uh, of spaghetti softening so yep so let's get back to my vegetable counter here so this is from Thailand it's not that spicy so let's chop them up finally because I want to put a spicy edge to the food in Malaysia if it's spicy it's delicious most of our food is spicy so this uh, these chilies are from Thailand the Thailand sells non spicy chilies unfortunately you want spicy shit very very spicy ones you just get the ones from the local uh, market uh, slightly uh, light green yellowish light green those are the village chilies or chibai burong or chabai burong whatever you want to call it uh, those are very very spicy uh, the type of spiciness that I would describe about this uh, kampung chilies or village chilies or chibai burong or chabai burong is it has a chemical spiciness to it so it's going to burn real bad so and uh, not only that uh, I do have all these chilies as well but I bought more from uh, Tesco because I want to like uh, plant more chilies uh, from my garden I got one of these babies here do you know what it is last time when I was young I do not like eating this one at all this is uh, bitter gourd uh, normally it should be this big okay? but from my garden it is only this small uh, it's a type of creeper uh, plant so uh, I'm gonna uh, have this as a vegetable in my food so I got two of them so it can be uh, grown in Malaysia What is the deal with all these bitter gourd? It's bitter and still people love to eat it. Uh, the deal with it is, uh, it seems that uh, people who have been regularly eating bitter gourd, which is not this small, much bigger one, uh, this is the size of my testicles actually, uh, if they have been eating this uh, bitter gourd regularly all throughout their lives, or all throughout their life, uh, they have a very prolonged lifespan a very long lifespan uh, for example the people in Okinawa south of uh, Japan Island uh, they grow a lot of this uh, bitter gourd and well consequently they are they have the most centenarians in the world uh, maybe second only maybe f uh, ahead of Italy which uh, they boast that if you eat a lot of uh, or drink a lot of olive oil, you will extend your life. <clears throat> and uh, because of that, a uh, lot of the chefs uh, in, uh, in the TVs and whatnot, uh, they just uh, use olive oil or extra virgin oil or virgin oil quite uh, regularly and quite a lot because uh, purportedly is very good for health so so that's why uh, nowadays these bitter gods although not that popular because it's bitter uh, is getting uh, more and more popular so you can buy this in Tesco's or Chai Tesco or Aeon or whatever you call them nowadays uh, it's bitter yes but damn anything that's bitter it's good for you like say uh, long uh, breaking up with a girlfriend it's bitter but it's good for you so uh, I'm gonna chop these fellas into fine pieces very fine that is I'm not gonna cook them I'm gonna eat them raw so I'm gonna sprinkle it on top of what the hell they have okay now I know there is a seed in them so I can uh, grow more if you wanted to so I guess you're looking at the seed there the one in the this side here this is the seed so this is the first time that I'm uh, actually cutting a uh, bitter gourd. So pardon me. Oh, they have a lot of seeds actually. So uh, do scrape them out. So it's something like a cucumber with bigger seeds. And the seeds do look like they are like pom pomegranate seeds. 
so you can grow some more of these babies here hopefully uh, the, the the soil is fertile enough to make it much much bigger than this one to, to a size of a uh, similar to my uh, dick so I'm gonna chop this in half so that I can uh, extract the seeds here which uh, I think I destroyed most of the seeds because I chopped straight through the seed itself but never mind I just uh, use my finger or thumb to actually push out the destroyed uh, destroyed what you call it seeds so I'm gonna check on my check on my uh, noodles there <laughs> so is it al dente already? Not yet actually. Still, you can see the color is a bit still dark. So let's turn up the heat and uh, see whether it's al dente. Nope, it's uh, very very hard actually. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I know eating all this uh, mee goreng or, or instant noodles is uh, not good for health, really. So I put the egg noodles into it. So what's happening with my website? I was thinking of uh, I'm uh, no actually I uploaded two new videos uh, regarding the sasabi which is coming or came out this month itself. Today is the 15th of December. I think it came out in, in the 13th of December. So uh, those who are awaiting the sasabi, they be, should be getting it as soon as possible. Shit! Oh my God! All the water is gone already. Been sucked by the noodles. Uh, this is a dilemma. No water, no cooking of noodles. Let's see whether these, these uh, egg noodles are cooked. Yep, they are cooked. So again, uh, these old noodles put in the new noodles. Oh, now there's too much noodles, man. Quite a lot of the noodles. So stop it from uh, cooking by running it over water. So let's see. Uh, tripod do not fall and destroy my new uh, camcorder, which would be very, very disastrous. So stop it from cooking. Doing that. So whatever's in the wok, wash it away. I'm going to fry the noodles. So let's see. So uh, chop my pentagon. So chopping the smallest slicey pieces. It's going to be bitter, okay? Uh, I'm going to 
put it at, at the side uh, to as a garnish or something like that. Is it bitter? I'm gonna try and see. God damn it, it's bitter, man. No, no, no. Not that bitter. So, yeah, you can like. Uh, oh fuck. It's uh, not that bitter. But uh, as they say, the bitter, the more bitter it is, the the better the medicinal value it will contain. And of course, they will say this is anti antioxidant stuff like that. Blah 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 blah. So next up, so if you would, if you if you are like me, you would have some of this uh, oil, which is uh, like garlic oil. This is caramelized, delicious oil. And also you have some of these, uh, uh, sorry, just now is onion oil, caramelized onion oil, and this is caramelized uh, garlic oil. So, delicious stuff. Delicious stuff, sorry. <clears throat> so next up, the wok. Oh shit, you can't see the wok. Okie dokie. So, put some oil into it. Excuse me. So I'm gonna use the oil from this. Uh, onion oil. So scrape the, the caramelized onions to the side because I don't want to like uh, burn it. So, so I'm gonna eat an egg actually so with my noodles. So some of this, uh, I'm gonna make a fried egg. If you want to make a bull's eye egg with the runny, runny, what you call it, a uh, yolk, you have to like say, leave it on a very slow fire and have it uh, cook that way with a low fire. Then it will be runny. Uh, I like to eat the yolk while it's uh, still, what you call it, uh, still uh, liquid in different form. So yesterday I did a, a what you call video on the, the new sasabi master grade version katoki hajime uh, based on the pictures that I got from uh, Model Land Workshop in Penang which is situated on Jalan Magazine near First Avenue. Do, do go and uh, check them out because uh, it's like a mini museum for Gundams. Uh, I was quite impressed with it. Very impressed. So that's in Penang that is, if you're living in Penang or you're planning to go to Penang and you are in the Kongta area. So, uh, hmm, take them here. So just uh, wait for it to fry. My big bowl ready. This is a bloody huge bowl. So it's it's uh, becoming hard around the edges of the egg, which I do like. So very very nice. Hopefully, wish I could give you a better view of the walk there without uh, actually impeding my movement. Well, the tripod is uh, like a uh, bin station precariously so there goes nothing so it's a slightly or very call it 
so at the side of the egg is uh, is hard already so put it to the side and I'm gonna fry up some of that uh, delicious chicken pieces here so I'm gonna oh shit uh, egg do not go into the oil ah fuck it I guess uh, the egg is already uh, been drained of all the excess oil so put it on to the side so some of these chicken pieces I'm gonna put in Having more, more what you call it, uh, vegetables. Uh, you can put in bean sprouts. Uh, now, uh, no, 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 not now. After I put in the the noodles, then you can put the, the bean sprouts. We also we always want the bean sprouts to be al dente, crunchy, and still cooked at the same time. So when it's uh, when you're done the noodles, ready, you put in the noodles. Then you can put the bean sprouts. Don't put the bean sprouts now because you put it now, then you put the vegetables. It's gonna be very soggy and soft. So bean sprouts, careful, careful. So the next step would be to put this fucking a lot of uh, noodles, spaghetti and uh, noodles as well. So just dump it in. Oh, uh, low flame. Put in all your, uh, or put in my condiments, which is MSG and chili flakes and whatnot. And sprinkle it all around. So besides the uh, sasabi uh, video, uh, my commentary on what it looks like and how it works, I don't have the unit. Uh, people might ask me, uh, are you going to buy the unit? I think it's around 300 ringgit. Uh, nope, I'm not going to buy it because uh, I prefer to buy the third party versions of all these uh, Gundam kits. Unless uh, I get uh, free ones from these hobby shops that I uh, review, then I'm all for it. I I wouldn't mind getting some free stuff from Bandai. Uh, so this, uh, I wouldn't buy it because for that price, I couldn't.